Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Um, that's where Buddy lives and that's the field right over there. I'm meeting this neighbor and we're talking for the first time. Tell us your name. My name is Norman Phipps. Norman Phipps said he'd been here 40? For over 40 years. Over 40 years. Now he's got this bus and it's said to be Mel Tillis' is one of his tour buses. It's got nine bunks up inside it. It's an Eagle from the 1980, what year model? 80. 1980 Eagle. Oh, 81. 81. Yeah. And his son loves it and they want to keep it. But what we was talking is, they were going to put it back here and extend this building, the roof of it, and then kind of enclose it where the place, the, the, the bus would have a home so they could do the, you know, keep it out of the weather and remodel it and get it looking good. And all of a sudden, he had permission to do it, and then Greene County got involved. And then they got who else involved? The water... Missouri Waterways. Missouri Waterways. Yeah, we had to have it surveyed, and the survey was all right. You know, we had it there, and then they told us we had to move it up another two foot besides that, you know, so, so know, we couldn't do it. They just stopped him on it. Boy, I tell you what, they just, I've been hearing this from a lot of people up and down this road and County Line Road, which is over in Christian County, but uh, it's just, they this is not a flood plain. Now I can see the valley back down in there, but to get involved and stop his project is just all it's going to be for is that bus. And look, if you really look at the thing, it's just going to be extending the roof and then closing it in. That's not a structural thing that they should be worried about and stopping him on. That should be his right to do that. This is his property. I thought I'd make a video about it and uh, we'll pass it in to some of them politicians in Greene County and Christian County too. We'll, we'll, Y'all know any of them, just send them this link and let them know that when they get into people's business like this, it's one thing to go ahead and be polite and give them permission on their own property, but to penalize them and stop them in a project that's, that's simple. It's not nothing that engineering got to be involved or and like ridiculously to call it involved in the floodplain and stop him on it thought i'd make a video about it thank you <laughs> thank sir thank you sir appreciate it <laughs> ford f100 ford f100 1954 but i put a 53 grill in it which is covered up right now we've been doing some work on it okay <clears throat> in the engine compartment because we got the pad on it right now so you're going to have disc brakes on it and and uh yeah, we've got disc brakes. you got a big engine in it oh my it's goodness it's not real big it's a 5.0 5 .5 i think it is okay yeah wow the paint job looks good my son did that it's two-tone i uh, yeah. see the roof is black mm -hmm. fenders are black yeah yeah the fenders are black oh that looks good yeah. And it's lowered in the back. I, I, now I'm noticing it's kind of lowered all the way around. Bit, yeah, not too much. I didn't want too much. Well, is it it's not an air ride, and the air ride's all the way down right now. Okay, so it will come it up. It will come up, yeah. yeah. It's a little bit too low right now, yeah. Yeah, but once you actually got it going, it, 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 it'll come, come up. up another two or three inches probably. I like the color wheels. I mean, is there a package, that, uh, like a rim that's going... Is there a, <laughs> those original wheels? Original 1954 Ford uh, uh, Ford wheels. Okay. Full mount curve. And we got Ford uh, baby moons put in there. Okay. The hub cap is what I was. You got the hub cap that's going to uh, go right in there. Yeah. Okay. So y'all got it cleaned. I'm telling you. And the steering wheel is out of a Ford. Ford. Okay. So was the engine. We loaded a lot of parts off of the. We, we scrapped an. I didn't realize that that dash was that narrow. That yeah, that, that's something. They were a little bit narrower. So you done some body work on this? Yeah, and, I did all the body work. Well, this must be your gas. Your that's gas. Part of that '93 Ford truck. Okay. The bed, the bed and then we cut the gas tank out. And, so when you go to fill up, you, that's where you, you put it your... Right there, yeah. Right there. Okay, so it's probably one of them really really safe and secure deals. Yeah. yeah. Wow, I appreciate you showing me sure. that. That's so, 
That's what you, when I see you outside on this side of your house, this is what you're working on. Right. Well, you've got it yeah, clean. I mean, we hear you coming by and saying buddy to the, to the llamas. You hear me when I'm hollering, buddy, yeah. buddy, buddy. <laughs> you know, he's, I'll tell you what, he's just now, after all this time, he's almost a year old. He, he kind of like, uh, no, no, he'll actually pick his head up and look at me uh, when I'm doing the buddy, buddy oh, thing. Yeah. But if I get off the bike and walk over to him, what's so funny is he will act like he don't even know me. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll turn away from me, and, you know, and I'll be saying, come here, buddy, come here. And he won't, but if I'm stay, if I stay on the bicycle and stay on the road, yeah. he'll look at me and turn his head and, yeah. you know, move his ears. Yeah. But as soon as I get off the bike and go to walking, yeah. he, he gets in this mode where yeah. he goes, I don't know you, and yeah. well, I won't look at <laughs> what you. What are you doing? <laughs> but I, I, would, I hate to say it, but llamas might be pretty dumb animals yeah, when it comes to so, like yeah. a horse yeah. or even a pig yeah. recognizes their name. Yeah. But a llama, maybe they just don't recognize their name. Yeah. All right, well, here's the back side of the, the Mel Tillis bus. That's a pretty bus. Yeah. Now, that's where they were going to just put the, increase the driveway and everything. It's a perfect little place to put the bus, but. All right, well, if you know anybody in the politicking world in Greene County, and we can change this thing and get it approved for him. Y'all help me do that. Appreciate it.